Hello everyone, it is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I hope that if you haven't subscribed yet, you'll consider subscribing so that you will have my videos in your YouTube feed and you won't miss any of them. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. So this is just a quick little video showing you what the next junk journal project with me kit is. And this is different than what I've done before because the little journal is already sewn and put together. I figured that we have done a lot of binding um, for journals and that I wanted to focus on something else for the month of February. And that is mostly on like, let me get a little more light in here, sorry, a little more on like collage or decorating the journal pages and um, ideas on kind of almost like a, not a glue book, but almost just some ways that we can decorate pages. So I've just put together a little four by four journal. This is just our practice journal. Of course you can, you know, use it for whatever you want. Um, but the principles and the just different playing around that we're going to do in the video, this is just going to be your canvas. And it will be, there's going to be a variety of different colors and won't look exactly like mine, but it will be tied with um, some kind of a trim and it'll, there'll be a cardstock cover and then 10 blank uh, pages, blank, well, some of them may be scrapbook or music or book pages, but they're 10 pages, um, so that's 40, 40 sides, so 40 pages that we will be working um, on some of those. And so this is going to be the canvas and I wanted to have it all together because most of the time we spend most of our video trying to put together the journal and then only a little bit on actually decorating it. So this way I thought if I gave you the journal or the, you know, the canvas to practice on in the kit already like this, then we could focus the entire video on decorating. So you're going to be getting three items. And the first one is this little, um, paper collage pack and there's 10 pages they're stitched together at the top and they're going to be random so they're not going to be exactly what I have but this is just an idea there'll be book pages like this one is from a book on roses and this is on um, like a gardening book it has leaves and flowers this is a travel book look at that silver paper this is from like a puzzle book a vintage children's dictionary a vintage bird book. This is a vintage um, children's book. This one's really old. So it was falling apart. This is from a vintage flower book, a coloring book, and a little music book. So you're going to have something similar. Not the same pages, um, not the same themes necessarily, but it will be this cute little pack. So the idea is we're going to be cutting and ripping pieces off of this. I saw, and I can't remember where I saw it. I saw um, one or two videos in the last few weeks where someone had something similar to this that they were using to rip papers off of. So I thought that would be great to keep everything together um, that we'll be working with just for like background pages. Then you'll also get the same thing in fabric. So 10 little pieces of fabric. Your fabric may be the same or different as mine, but here's kind of like a textured blue I have, kind of a canvas pink. I have a black and white polka dot, a blue and pink and yellow floral, some stripes, some upholstery, plaid, kind of like a burlap, burlap, some lightweight see-through, some more floral. So these will also be snipping parts off to collage with our paper. And then the last one is this cute little bag. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, you'll have a cute little bag that we can use the bag in the journal as well, but it will have 20 pieces of um, journal cards, ephemera, cutouts, things like that, that we can use as well. So the ones I have, um, this one says blossom and shine. There's a little tag from one of my kits, some cutouts from vintage books, some punch outs. I have some floral cutouts from some papers, um, digital papers that I think I got from like Pixabay and Pixel Scrapper. These are from vintage books. I got this from some Happy Mail. Just, you know, you'll have different ones. Some different vintage little printouts, some from my ephemera packs maybe. This is from an Avalon Rose ephemera pack. This one too. Little tag I made. So just different things. 
Um, yours will be different. Each one will be unique. So if you do order multiples, um, you will get different ones. And so what I'm going to have is two options. The complete kit, which is what you see here, the little sewn journal, and then the bits and pieces for collage, the three um, sets. But I will also offer an option for just the collage pieces. In other words, it would not include the sewn journal. And that would, means you would just get the paper pad, the fabric pad, and the envelope of ephemera. And I'm doing that because maybe you already have a journal that you would like to practice in. Um, or maybe you want to buy the complete kit and then you want to buy two or three sets of the... Um, collage pieces, the fabrics, papers, and ephemera, so that you have more to choose from and more to use, you know, so that you can have multiples of them. So yeah, I thought that that would be nice. Um, and you can just click the link below to go straight to the listing. We will be making this sometime in February. I never actually post the exact day because I don't know how the month is going to go. But that's one reason why you want to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss it when it goes up. We're going to have so much fun collaging and gluing, making a huge mess and enjoying every minute of it. So thank you for watching this video, for crafting along with me through my videos, for supporting everything I do. You all are truly the best.